for a video today. I thought I would do a book haul today. I haven't done one in a while and I've been piling up my so books. It's full of books right now and it normally is full of big books, but these are the books that I need to put away because I'm going to sell them and I need to find them quickly. So I have them organized now and I thought I'd show them to you before I do that. And I think I just sold one as well. Okay. I already sold a, I sold a Jane Goodall book and I had actually showed, that, showed you that in another book haul. Okay, so anyway, let's start with the ones that I haven't shown you. And actually, this one I'm reading. This is Andrew Jackson versus Henry Clay. And it's Democracy and Development in Antebellum America. And that's it there. And this is actually selling for about $20. This is a textbook. I showed you these, but I'm going to show them to you anyway. These are some vintage 80s Bon Appetit magazines. And these are going for about $15, ten, anywhere from $10 to $15 on Amazon. But I'm having... I actually haven't listed this one yet because I checked it, I scanned it, but I've been looking at the recipes. They're amazing. Okay, and then I got this one. This is also selling for uh, close to 20 These really cheap the other day. What did I get these for? This was from the store. I think these were 50 cents, the small paperbacks. And then this was, uh, so I think I paid about a dollar for this. This one of is Greek Myths. And it's really, I think it's a children's book, but it's really got some nice illustrations there and really, really nice text. Oh, and it was vintage. And this one has a, what were these? These were a dollar. Okay, now I know where these were from. These are from the Salvation Army, which sells them for, they're expensive. They're $2.99 for the hardcovers and $1.99 for the paperback and they consider these not paperback but yeah. it was half price that day so I got them for a dollar fifty I believe this is called the bumper book and this was for about thirty dollars on Amazon vintage children's book and they have quite a few different in different ones in the series or the type so look out for those yeah. The sticker, I got it for $1.99, and this one is so interesting. It's called Post Secret, and it's a project that this author does, and he gave, uh, I guess, a thousand postcards, and then people were to write their secret that they had never told anyone, and they would share anonymously, and it has everything in here from, uh, I'm a preacher's wife and I don't believe in God, to... <laughs> to when I'm angry, I give my customers decaf at Starbucks. Or if, no, if customers are rude to me, I give them decaf and just very, some of them are heartbreaking and some of them are hilarious. And this, I'm going to, I just bought it because I liked it and my daughter's going to keep it. So we like that. This one here, I don't know if it's a chain or not, Rouse. And it's just some really, really good recipes here, but this is also a good selling cookbook. This is selling for about $30 on Amazon. Seeing wonderful uh, cookbooks. And again, these are restaurants. We have a local one here. I don't know if it's only here in Houston, so maybe that's why. Some of those local restaurants, guys, look for those. Did I show you this one? I may have shown This one was $1.99. I'm giving this away to a new mom. And it, this one is really nice. It has everything from games to play with your child, home remedies, vintage illustrations in it, poetry. I mean, it's just like a big mom Bible. So nice. And it's even got a little that at Epic. And then this is another one from Epic. This was $1.99. Anything but straight. And it is unmasking the scandal and lies of um, anti-gay psychiatry or something like that. So this was actually selling for a good price as well. I believe over $20 on Amazon. $1.99. No, $1.99. Magical Jewels. And that was also a good ring up on Amazon. This is a vintage book, so I'll take a picture of it. But I believe it was about $25 to $30. My grandbaby, this is called Jesus, Me, and the Christmas Tree. And it was $0.99, cents, a little chunky book. It's shaped like a tree. And it's brand new, super, super cute kid's book. Love okay. That. Another grandbaby. This one is called Eating the Alphabet. Chunk I love chunky books. Isn't that cute? Dinosaurs Count to Ten. Here's a really good one, selling for a good price, and I got this one at the Salvation Army again for a dollar fifty, and this one's called Breakfast with Friends by Elizabeth Allison, author of 
biscuits, scones, and muffins. And I think this is the same author of that tiny little book that was biscuits, scones, and whatever. And I sold that little tiny cookbook for like $25. And this one's also going for about 20 bucks on Amazon, last I checked anyway. It's got great recipes in here too. I like looking through them when they're not brand new because I don't want to crack the spine if I'm selling them that's brand new. And I just sold one. This is pretty timely, I guess, with that gorilla incident at the zoo. People are interested in in this subject matter again. So I sold this one for, I believe, $15 on Amazon. Brand new too. I had three copies. That was the day that I got really lucky and went to one of the thrift stores and they had a slew of brand new books, multiple copies. And I've okay, some more over here. Let me bring them over here. These are the ones that I got. I told you about that in one of my hauls, and I think I've showed it to you in my ride along. And that they were 20 cents for their paperbacks. And this is race and social analysis. And they had a whole section of humanities type of subject textbooks. They were all go back to a thrift store. It's just not that close to me. It's close to my mother's. All right, here's another one. Unsettling Settler Societies. Again, all of these were ringing up at $20, $30. They were in the this one is, I thought this was really um, timely for what I was doing, which is buying books, right? And it was... This is $1.99 at Epic, and it's called Collecting Books for Fun and Profit. And this is also selling for a good price. It's a vintage book, no ISPN number, but I took a picture of it, and uh, I think it was over $20. Anything by Lee Bailey usually does really well. Lee Bailey City Food. Great illustrations in here, too. These are great cookbooks. Very inspirational. My mom and I have been sitting here all weekend and just going over them and I, I even got inspired to cook guys I made cookies. I made two different cookies I made um, oh I made some scalloped potatoes that I saw in one of these books <laughs> and I was just like, what am I gonna serve with the scalloped potatoes and then I had to go cook something else but they just look so good and uh, so easy so I made some of that some of the things we've been finding in these books that's the thing about watching these um, these um, cable network shows and cooking or you know perusing over these um, cookbooks I may have showed you this but I'll show it to you again socials and soirees again wonderful recipes there we're gonna be holding a baby shower soon so I've been looking for a lot of different recipes and I, let's look at this congealed tuna salad just old southern recipes and then I even show you whether they're from New Orleans or from Texas and Beautiful little finger sandwiches and just lovely things. Another magazine, Architects, one was 99 cents and I rung it up and it was selling, I think, for 10. Okay, a manual de estilo this selling is as well for a good $30. Like, um, I think, designing, fashion design. And some more Bon Appetit magazines. These are going for a good $10. And you know, guys, you cannot mail these. Uh, media mail, anything that has an advertisement, an advertisement in it is not considered media mail. So you have to make sure that you're getting a good dollar on those magazines because you can't mail them. Out. Yeah, let's see. Oh, here's the kitty book tractor. So cute and chunky. Got all kinds of big trucks and stuff. And this is recipes, petite marmite, and the recipes from. Petite Maramite, and I think this is in it's world famous, and um, I got it for $1.99 is the price there, but this was selling for a good $25, $30, I believe. Again, these famous restaurant cookbooks, look for those. They really do sell. I've sold uh, the Russian Tea Room and other famous uh, places, especially if they're closed or defunct. They, they do really well as, as well. So yeah, that's another one. And that is my last one. That is my last book that I was going to show you. Thrift haul later on. I did get some things this weekend and I just finished another thrift haul. And I'm going to try to put together a ride along for you. So come back again, guys. Thank you so much for coming in. I'll talk to you then. Bye.